Hey guys, it's Kyle here from Bitwarden, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly get started using the Bitwarden browser extension. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have Bitwarden installed. Um, on this demo we're using Chrome, but we support a variety of browsers. Um, so when Bitwarden's installed, you'll notice the Bitwarden icon that appears up here at the top right of your screen. And if you don't see that there, um, you can go to the Bitwarden website at bitwarden.com and scroll down a bit and you'll see links to the variety of different browsers that we support and installation links for those. So once you have Bitwarden installed, um, you can click on the icon up here and you'll be presented with an option to create an account or log into an existing account. We already have a account with Bitwarden, so we're gonna go ahead and log in to that account now. So once you've logged in, the page you'll land on is called My Vault. You can see from the tabs listed down here, that's the one we're on. And in your vault, you can see a listing of all the things that are stored in it. And you can browse them in here. So we can click on one and we can see the information about the username and the password. We can copy that information out to the clipboard or browse other things that are available in here. The next thing we'll do is we'll check out the tab down here called Tools. Uh, one important tool you want to note is the password generator. The password generator allows you to generate random passwords that are very long and secure, and you can customize how those are generated, and you can copy them out to the clipboard and use them whenever you're registering for new websites, which we'll check out in just a minute. Now we'll move over to the settings tab down here, which has some important information about how you can treat security of your extension. You can change lock options to lock the extension under certain circumstances. We recommend using on restart. Um, you can lock the extension from in here. You can log out of your account or manage things like your folders or perform manual syncs. The last page we want to look at in the extension is this one called tab. And this is actually the default page you'll land on when you open the extension. And this is the current tab page. So this page shows listings in your vault that are relative to the website that you're currently viewing in your browser. So in this example, we're on google.com. And so when we open the extension in the current tab page, we see results in our vault that are relative to Google. So next, let's actually review how to use Bitwarden on a website. So here we are on reddit.com and we're gonna create an account. So normally when we create an account, we see a form where we input a username and password and things. Um, but instead of putting it in on the actual website, now we're gonna open Bitwarden itself. We see the current tab page here and it lists that we don't currently have any logins. So we can just click add a login or hit the plus button up here. And instead of filling out the registration form on the website, we'll just fill it out here in Bitwarden itself. We can type a password ourselves, or we can use that password generator to generate and create a very strong password that we'll use um, for this account. So once it's created, we can see it listed in here now. And once we click it, it'll autofill that information in on that registration form and we can sign up. So now that we have an account on Reddit, let's go ahead and log back out and pretend we came to reddit.com and we were not logged in. So we'll see a login form listed here on Reddit. And we see up here on our icon that there's a number one listed to the Bitwarden icon. That tells us that there is one, one login in our Bitwarden vault that is pertinent to this particular website. So when we open the Bitwarden extension up here, we can click on the login for Reddit and it'll autofill it in for us and we can log in. There's a couple other ways we can log in as well. We log back out again we can autofill by just pressing a hotkey on this mac computer it's command shift l and bitwarden will autofill it straight in for us and we can log back in we'll go ahead and log out again and we'll check out another feature that bitwarden offers for autofilling if we open bitwarden here and go to settings scroll down and open features and turn on this feature here called enable autofill on page load so what this means is when the page loads Bitwarden will automatically fill in our login credentials for us. So we'll refresh Reddit here, and we'll see that our credentials were automatically filled in and we can just log in. 
So the last thing we want to explore is what would happen if we already had a login for reddit.com and it just wasn't in Bitwarden yet. So Bitwarden handles that for you pretty easily. So you would just log in to reddit.com like normal. And if Bitwarden detects that that login you just logged in with is not already in Bitwarden, it will prompt you with an option to save it in your vault. And now when you open your vault, you'll see it appears in there for use at a later time.